guys, it's Toxic Roxy here, and welcome back to another episode of Nowhere Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. If you remember in the last episode, we took on Alice Twilight at the final Akashic Point. Now, there's only one left. The Big Bad himself. But, uh, first, Sylvia just kind of stays here now. And, uh, like I said, we can't really get the gene thing, so we're not going to go through all that right now. Uh, we're just going to... I think we're just going to go for it, you know? Stop beating around the bush. Let's just go take on Jasper Bat Jr. Alright, the Pizza Bat Tower. So if you remember in the first game, uh, which we haven't gone through, but if you've seen it... Oh wait, never mind. Cutscene. Anyway, so the whole thing with Sylvia here is that she's kind of in like a love hotel situation. But it, aside from that, <clears throat> we're going to get back to what I was saying beforehand. Um, if you remember in the first game, which we haven't gone through, uh, but there was a corporation known as the Pizza Butt, which they changed to Bat in this game. Which is probably just for aesthetic, really. I, I don't think it's literally anything other than like the fact of how they designed uh, Jasper Bat Jr., that they changed the name. Also, wow, our ecstasy gauge built up real kinds of quick there. There's a gun guy somewhere, and I don't want to deal with him. I'm trying to... It's not possible. <sighs> gun guys are the most annoying friggin' parts of this game. Jesus Christ, man. I just cannot get a break here. When one's not attacking me, the other is. There we go. Leave me alone, sir. Get stabbed. Oh, come on, man. I'll never understand why this series has been giving me so many problems. I <laughs> don't know why I started to break out in the song there. It wasn't even that good. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, they're just dropping from the sky now. That makes sense. You know, that implies that he jumped from a higher story, which means... Dude, are your ankles okay? Like... I know it's not that far of a fall, but like... This is a mall. Could you ever imagine jumping from the second story to first? That would hurt. I just saw a chest and I thought, it's a surfboard. Oh yeah, cosmetics for the room. I guess we're not really going to be able to see that though, because this is the final level. I mean, we could see it in a secondary playthrough because the files are all connected. So like, if we were to do a bitter playthrough after... Which, like, we could probably come back to this at a later date and time. And just have a bitter playthrough. And by that I mean a better playthrough. Because by that point, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have some better recording software or something. Or maybe I just won't suck at life. That's also a possibility. 
Very unlikely, but it'd be cool. I hear the chainsaw. I don't like that sound. Tiger, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I don't like the sound, because they're not going to like the roar. Where is he? I want him. Give him to me. Let me have him. Oh, I taste the blood. <laughs> I don't know why I turn into Venom. <laughs> Just eyes, lungs, pancreas. <laughs> so many snacks, so little time. Uh, oh, hey, elevator. Why'd you bring me down? Well, actually, you guys came up, I think. Does anybody know what he says whenever he stabs down at people like that? Because, like, this entire time... Wow, that was weird. I didn't do the prompt. I always thought it was, like, bitch-ass, but I don't know. That doesn't sound about right. Like, I can clearly discern, like, the out-of-my-way weak. And the bring it on, but, like, anything else. Like, the... I don't know what it is. Special delivery. Special delivery? That's another one. Oh, God. Just come on out of the elevator, please. Come on, quick, before it wears off. Dang it. Stupid. I'm not going to give you the chance. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a chance to be a pain in my ass. Alright, cool, the elevator dings are done. Oh, why? Why is it two of you? Of all the enemy types. I feel that, Travis. I really do feel that, bud. Oh man, they're on the other side of the frickin' wall. Of course. Why am I not surprised? We went the wrong way. Well, I mean, I guess... I guess we do have to kill everyone, but like... Really? Really? We could've just gone this way. Oh, never mind. But there is an... Ass washer? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's an ass washer. That, yep. That's exactly what I expected to find up here. Uh, did we go the wrong way? No, there's a door back here, right? Yes, there's a hallway. There's a glass hallway. I believe we can actually break those windows. But that's not important right now, because we're killing people. It's killing time. Oh, great. Beam Katana dude at the end of the hall. We'll get there when we get there. You know, at least it's one of them, so I can actually attack him. That's what I'm talking about. We can break this glass, right? Yes, yes, we very much can. <laughs> oh, hey. Team Katana guy. Actually, wait, they can break the glass, too. Because, uh, like, all the enemies can interact with the environment, kind of in the way that, uh, Matt Helms did. Whenever we were burning down crap in that house. Oh, weird. Was not expecting to see, like, a short person behind me. Also, wow, how short are they? Because, like, how tall is Travis canonically? Does anybody have a, like, a note on that? I mean, I imagine uh, Goichi Suda put it somewhere. Or Suda Goichi. I mean, either way, you can read it. I mean, he's Japanese. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's why they call him Suda 5-1. His name is literally just a pun on it, like, or rather, his... Developer name is literally a pun on his actual name, being that, like, Go Ichi, Go being five, Ichi being one in Japanese, and so it's just Suda 5 one. Which I always thought was very clever. I mean, I bet he had friends in school that called him that. I refuse to believe he just came up with that one day, like, randomly. He he had to have, like, had friends that just said, 
Hey, Goichi. 5 1. Something like that. Actually, wait. How old is uh? How is how old is Goichi Suda? Because I bet there's a 51 joke to make somewhere. I don't know. You think I would know these things, being that he's one of my favorite game developers, just for this and uh like. A couple other things, actually, like Killer7, I played that on the GameCube, that was the shit. Oh, no. Which, like, this game kind of came from just Killer7 existing, which I always thought was cool. He was like, oh, you want to see how really gruesome I can get? Let's just straight up kill bastards. <laughs> it's like, we'll take what we did with Killer7. But just make it where we kill dudes by slicing them up with lightsabers. Also, he really loves to reference, like, pop culture of any, like, type in this game. Uh, if you can't tell, just from, like, the weapons. Actually, no, the first game does that better. Uh, Star Wars. That's a big one. I mean, are we? Oh, wow, we might be. Let's go! Okay, and that's another one down. I want to test something. Actually, wait, hold up. We gotta kill this guy in order to... Never mind, I guess we'll never get to test it. I wanted to watch the enemies break the windows. Well, actually, we still could if they attack this one. But I guess not. We'll wait. I'm still getting the collectibles, even though I know we're not gonna be able to view them. Also, that was for uh, that was for Alice. I saw that it was number two. I swear, I don't know why the game slows down like that sometimes. We're not dark step. <gasps> Ooh, tiger. Oh, oh, it's so good. Aw, oh, man, the tiger can't break the windows. That's sad. Oh, no, wait! That means we can't get to him. No! <laughs> Is this what hell looks like? I'm trying. Yeah, shoot the windows, actually. Do it. Shoot them down. Ethan Hunt looking... <laughs> You know, there's one thing I don't use a lot of in this game. That's the wrestling moves. I know they're there. Never gonna use them. How far along are we into this? Because I know there's a good bit of this level. Okay. Oh my god, the remix. No heroes, no time to stand still If you are gonna be the number one I mean, in case I haven't made it abundantly clear throughout this entire series I love the music in this game Well, actually, the, uh, the developer of this game like wasn't even really Suda Goichi I mean, it's his story, it's his characters, but like I believe the main director is somebody completely, oh, like, entirely. Okay, uh... What was I trying to say? Entirely different. Completely entirely. Somebody completely entirely. Uh, <laughs> those are the same thing, my man. Sorry, I just... Something, uh, something I do a lot on this channel is just have a stroke. Like, I believe in one episode of this series, I said... I'll see you in the next one twice. I mean, given that it was spaced out in a bit, so, like, I could clearly understand how I ended up doing that. But it still happened. It was still very stupid. 
Um, excuse me. Oh, collateral. It's quite a beautiful thing, but also, wow, it's laggy. <laughs> Oh no, why is it always chainsaw guys? Oh, and gun guys in the back. Yeah, we're not dealing with this. We're not dealing with this and chainsaws. We'll, we'll do one at a time. <laughs> I think I'd actually rather take chainsaws over you guys and chainsaws. I thought I saw- oh no, they're axe guys actually. They're just the chainsaw wielders, uh, like, model. That's weird. No, that's actually bizarre. I kind of hate that. Why did they wait to do that n until now? You know, whenever we're nearly done with the game. It's like, oh yeah, last level. So uh, we finally realized that we could use this model as an axe wielder. <laughs> oh, did you now? God, there's more of this. Oh no, I know what this room is. This is what I like to call the room of insanity. Because it feels like an eternity. Because in a way, it kind of is. And I went through this game three separate times on uh, different save files. Like, there was uh, the sweet, there was the mild, there was the bitter. But those were all on a different um, profile entirely. So, yeah, make, makes sense. I don't know why I have to explain myself. I know this game. Clearly I know this game. Uh, it's just like one of those things where throughout this entire series it's been nothing but a desperate struggle, ironically. Uh, <laughs> but like, I don't know, I used to be good at it. Enough to where I could get through bitter mode with little problem. Oh, yes. Absolute eradication of every enemy in sight. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. I think my controller is about to die. And we're back. We're not on the blink anymore. The controller was blinking red, and I was like, that's not good. Oh yeah, so just in case you guys don't know, I'm using a Power A controller here. It's not the best, but it does have paddles, and I do love that. I just, I have turbo buttons, man. It's pretty great. <laughs> not that I ever use them for anything, but they're there. It's always nice to have. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, you know? It's the old adage. Samurai, he abstinence patrol. That's all I can think of <laughs> whenever I just hear the word samurai in my head. I just go, yeah. NSP, man. I think that, yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure that's a collateral. Oh, the blood fountain. Wow, really? I remember this room being a lot longer to get through. Which makes me believe... Are we there? No. Okay, that's why it felt like it was longer. Because that's not the end. We still have more to do. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with this. I remember the first time I ever got those guys all in one collateral. It was beautiful. Oh, really? I didn't get the beam upon us in the collateral there? Well, crap. Now we have two of these bastards to deal with. Luckily, the other one doesn't appear to be doing anything, weirdly enough. That's a little worrying. Stab him. Stab him. Yes! Okay. For a sec, just because every time I try to stab a beam katana guy when they're downed, it never seems to work. I was starting to think that maybe I just couldn't. I'm like, can you not stab the katana guys? I feel like you could. <laughs> you can. It's just very trial and error. Kind of like this series. It's oddly fitting. 
I swear, they're just saying boba. They're, they're not crying out for their mama, they just want some boba tea. Which, like, you know, don't blame them. I would also like some boba tea. Oh! Okay, so I think we found the actual room of insanity. But, it's not too bad. So far, we've killed a chainsaw guy. And another chainsaw guy. All in a day's work, boys. I do love the Rose Nasty. It, it does kind of feel like we're just overpowered after we get it, but really we're not just because the bosses suck. And just because it's still so easy to just take damage like that. But like, the Rose Nasty is such a good beam katana. Like, I really hope it comes back in the third game, or something similar to it does. Kind of in the way that we have, like, the Berry Blue back, which I'm assuming we're just going to have that basic, because it was already shown off in, like, the trailer and stuff. But, like, in the way that they brought back the, uh, the Tsubaki as another version of itself. Like, if they bring back the Rose Nasty, but as another version of itself. Or just keep it the same, even. Just because it was a gift from, uh, like, uh, the director, the Bishop Worship. I believe that's who that's supposed to be, at, uh... At Bishop's Grave, whenever we get the Rose Nasty as Shinobu. That, you know, we've already seen that. It was in the, uh, the, like, the box of this. Um, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Mikkei. Um, freaking guy that Bishop just absolutely adores in the first game. Which, like, you know, makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay, uh. That's weird. Normally these are before a boss. But, uh, that's not the boss exclamation point that is a yellow arrow not a not a red one hmm is there a reason for that i'm not even like asking like this uh to be like ironic and be like oh well i don't know what's gonna happen no i do i do know what's gonna happen but i'm genuinely concerned because i don't remember there being this Okay, who's in here? Oh, no one. It's literally it's literally just a pathway room. Why? Why does this exist? Is this just a breather room? I need a sec. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh god, I hate him. Hey, it's Sasuke. Call back to the first game, they weren't important. I don't think I've ever said this. I hate this boss, by the way. Not because he's a fun one to hate, I just hate him because he sucks. Oh no, everybody's dead. Henry, Sylvia, Shinobu. Now you're feeling it. That's your life losing all meaning. You got nothing left except this fight. Now I know you'll put all you have into this. You're gonna fucking pay. Yes. A fight to the death. Get angry. So angry you start convulsing. I'm gonna have to remember how to fight this guy. Because his fight is very different from everything we've ever fought up to this point. Everybody else is just like, wait for an opening, hit the guy. This one's very different from what I remember. Anyway, yeah, that's a Yuri Lowenthal that does the voice acting for him. Which, like, explains so much. Yeah, that's how we do it. I remember there was a point where you just have to hide underneath him.
Wow, really? Is he already that low? I'm pretty sure there's a point where we just can't do damage to him anymore. I'm pretty sure we're already there. What the hell? Come at me. Come at me. I was right, it's a power circle. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cutscene. Okay. First time I saw this, I thought I was dead. But no, you're just destined to lose that power struggle. Don't be deceived so easily. They're just replicas. Serious? Jeez. Well, aren't I a gullible idiot? I mean, really. Do you think it'd be that easy for him to kill Henry? Or even Shinobu? God, I love him. Henry's so great whenever he's actually working with you. Anyway, so now we can win these, by the way. Although it's weird, because I don't remember much of this part of the fight. Alright, cool. Is that the end of that? Yes. Now you might think the fight is over there. And honestly, that would be quite underwhelming. And this fight already kind of is. Sadly, that's not the end. Oh god, I hate it. Here comes my least favorite phase of this fight. Oh god, he's so ugly too. Is it, uh... It's when you jojo fly a baby. I do remember this face sucks though. Just because he's literally hacking. Also, I do not need to be near the windows or the anything whenever he's doing this. Because I remember he can one-hit kill you if you're near a window. And I just kind of don't want that. To be like how I lose this fight. Just like how I don't want to get freaking powerbombed or anything like that. Alright, we're going to use this. Just because I don't want to deal with this phase as long as I have to. So if I could just do as much damage as I can while I can, that'll be perfectly fine by me. We're already halfway done with the worst phase. Hey, let me know. That's pretty great. Oh, cool. He can't grab me for a power bomb over here. Oh, but we're very close to a window. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, God. He's already at this part of the freaking fight. Oh, uh, this is why I hate this phase, by the way. He just teleports around like a dick. Max health feeling pretty. No, very much not, actually. And it's not like he's going to stop, either. Because, like, even whenever we think he's done, he's very much not. Just four more hits, or rather, four more ticks. That's the hit that can get us flown out a window, by the way. It's not fun. He's just a douchebag. Luckily, with uh, Ryan's help and stamina, we're able to take a lot more hits. Could you imagine if we didn't have that right now? We would very much be dead. Do not get caught in that friggin' powerbomb. No, we got caught in the powerbomb. Gosh dang it. This sucks. In some cases... That is a one-hit KO. <laughs> we were near a window when that occurred. That was scary. Gosh, dang it. It's just because he's teleporting. Can you imagine trying to do this fight hitless? 
I mean, as if the fight wasn't already impossible enough. Oh my god, stop. We can't even stand up. We don't even have room to stand up. I really thought we were going to get him there. There we go. That's the worst phase done. Thank God. Thank God we got that through that the first time, because I thought we were going to die against that phase throughout this entire playthrough. I was like, this is going to be a death moment. And hopefully those heals respawn, because I, I feel like they should. This is the last phase. But... Yeah. That's, uh, that's phase three. Wait a second. You're already here. You might as well keep fighting. It's not happening, brother. I can't be associated with that travesty. I mean, I'm standing for fuck's sake. True enough. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode, because we're going to leave this one here. This episode has gone on for a bit too long for my standards. Uh, but anyway, hey, the heels respawn. Uh, I will see you all in the next one. If you liked the video, drop a nice like, hit subscribe. But remember, rock on.